Now, there are meetup groups for every hobby and interest, even for people who love a certain breed of dog. So we wanted to learn more about this to understand this. So here from the Greenville Pug Meetup, we do have Taryn Foster with Molly and Linus right here. We have Amanda Murphy with Doug and Hugo. And on the end, we've got Brandy Wenstrom with her pub, Pug Ellie, welcome. Thank you all. This is so fun. Thanks for having me. Thank you. The sound of panting. It, it just <laughs> it just is going to fill the room. It's really cute here. And Taryn, you organized this group because you were a member of a similar group back in Miami when you lived there. What you needed to bring that concept here? Right. Um, so I lived in Miami, and they have a huge pug meetup there. Uh -huh. And so when I moved here, I started it, and it's grown, and now we have about a thousand members actually. Wow. And these meetups you have, they happen about twice a month. You might be getting together to socialize your dogs at a, at a dog friendly restaurant mm -hmm. or a brewery or a dog park. Who's being socialized? Is it the dogs or are the people <laughs> socializing more? A little bit of both and we usually only know the dogs names so yeah. people names come second. So. I think that happens <laughs> in every neighborhood. Now Amanda, your dogs are especially well known because you've got Doug and Hugo, they're influencers, or other pup fluencers. They are. You travel around the world sampling wine, and the Instagram is Pugs and Prosecco. Tell That's us about right. this. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So uh, we lived in a couple different countries, uh, but they've been to the UK, all over the UK, actually, in London as well. We lived in Paris for a bit. So they've traveled around France. They've been to Champagne, sampling Champagne. Um, and then we did a little holiday in Spain and actually took a cruise here when we uh, relocated back to the US. So it's incredible. So yeah, so they've gone everywhere. And they've got followers like celebrities. They do. Th I mean, they think they're celebrities. So. Uh, they, they're so regal and they've just been sitting here the whole time waiting for the camera time. So they're wonderful. And yes. then Brandy, so many characters here. You've got um, Ellie. You've been a member of Greenville Pug Meetup for two years. And, and Ellie, on the end, you have a, um, there's a French bull dog puppy sister. Yeah. How do, we have they a get along well? Her name's Zara. That, uh -huh. um, as sweet as Ellie is, she is as feisty. So um, she's not here with oh, us, but we love one. her. But, and that kind of opens up the door. All smushy faced dogs, all small breeds really are, are welcome in your group. Uh, what happens during these meetups and, and what kind of camaraderie <laughs> is there? Absolutely. We, have, uh, we started out with just pugs and then just through meeting different people, it's grown to, we've got French Bulldogs, Boston mm -hmm. Terriers, Shih Tzus, Pekingese, so um, some of our meetups are off leash, some are on leash, and they just get together and they kind of know each other when they meet each other and see each other, so. Uh, well, they must, they recognize each mm -hmm. other as brothers and mm -hmm. sisters and cousins, and, <laughs> and the people, you said people that love pugs, they don't just love them, they're just, they're obsessed with pugs. Is. Is that, <laughs> not every breed has a club, right? It's pretty much an obsession. And, I love you know, them. Once you get a pug, it's kind of for life. So. Is it the smushy faces? Is it the panting? What, what is it about pugs for they you all? They just have the funniest personalities, and <laughs> literally you can't have a bad day if you have a pug. No, so no, always a smile on your face. And, and you spread those smiles because you all are involved in community events, too. You're even putting together a pug parade that happens this Friday outside of Shriners Hospital. What happens then? So it'll be our fourth year doing the parade, and we parade oh. in front of the hospital, and some of the patients and staff come outside. Some stay inside and watch from inside, and we just parade back and forth and let them hold them, pet them, and take <laughs> pictures. And it's our my favorite event that we have all year and a fundraiser, so anyone can donate, and all donations are tax deductible. Well, you talk about the smiles and the joy these guys bring. That, that, that works, and it makes your meetup so fun. You also have auctions and raffles throughout the year to benefit pug rescues, including, get this, there's a Dogs of the Greenville Pug Meetup calendar that everybody's dying to have now, and, and <laughs> putting together that, that parade. Um, anything else before we go, just about what makes your club so special? Yeah, we um, just a lot of giving back, and it's a great resource. Even if you can't attend meetups, a lot of people use the resource online just to get information on their pugs, if they're having health issues, and we have a lot of breeders in our group, rescue oh. connections. We do a lot of rehoming, have dog trainers in our group, so it's just a yeah. great resource. Well, and it's neat, too. I think anybody watching these shots as we pan across and see their sweet faces, we're all just, just swooning so about relaxed. them. Um, but if anybody wants to add a pug to their family or if they need to rehome one for some reason, you all are a resource for all those things, too. Yeah, absolutely. We help with all of those things. So all if right. you're interested in the breed want to know more about it, if you don't even have one and you want to come to a meetup, that's welcome. So. Well, We're here to help. We love those smushy faces. Thank you so much for bringing all these characters. <laughs> they were excellent us. guests. <laughs> um, people us. can connect with you if they're looking to, uh, to add a pug, learn anything more about what you do. There's more on Greenville Pug Meetup on accesscarolina.com.